Today I want to present to you a very exciting and somewhat strange study because um, as observer you might wonder how on earth were the subjects willing to participate in this strange study. Because all the subjects were told we will conduct a CO2, a carbon dioxide challenge with you. Which means you will experience some kind of panic attack. And maybe you know that waterboarding for example is also that distressing because after a while you get the impression oh my god I cannot breathe and in fact the carbon dioxide level rises and you begin to feel dizzy and you get the panic feeling of fainting. And of course the participants in this study did not have to go through waterboarding but they had to inhale air in which was 10% of carbon dioxide which is a really high level because usually in our normal air there is about 0.04% of carbon dioxide. So why on earth were the participants willing to do that? Well, it was for the sake of science because the scientists said we want to find out which strategy is the best to cope with panic attack symptoms. Therefore, the participants were divided into three groups. In one group, they were taught diaphragmatic breathing. So they should try to control their body sensations, the panic which was induced via the carbon dioxide, with diaphragmatic breathing and they were also told whenever they were exhaling they should tell themselves relax. So in this group they really should try to control and to fight the anxiety. In a second group the approach was quite different. In this group, which was called the acceptance group, they should not try to fight anxiety. Instead, and this was taught via the metaphor of the Chinese finger trap, which uh, I don't know if you know it, it's a small woven straw tube in which you put your index fingers and your task is to get out of this. And of course, most people first of all try to pull the fingers out. But because of the woven structure of this finger trap, this doesn't work at all. Instead, your finger gets trapped even more. So the only chance to get out of this is to let go and to no longer fight it, but to push a little bit more to the middle and then uh, the tube gets a little bit wider and you can escape. And this is a really good metaphor for an acceptance-based approach to anxiety because with anxiety it's often the same. The more we try to escape, the more we try to fight it, the more it gets us. And if we just say, okay, I feel the anxiety, but I will do it anyways, then it all gets easier. So this was the second group and of course they also had a third group which was a control condition in which the participants received no treatment at all. And the results showed that indeed the acceptance-based approach just to let go and not to fight anxiety, not trying to control anxiety was better than the diaphragmatic breathing in terms of felt anxiety and also of course better than the control condition in which the participants had received no treatment at all. And maybe the most important result of this study was that those people who had received the acceptance-based approach, the Chinese finger trap metaphor, were much more willing to face another CO2 challenge. So they were asked by the scientists, well, would you do something like this again? And in this group about 66% said, Yes, okay. Whereas in the diaphragmatic breathing group only about 33% and in the control condition only 8% were willing to do so. So of course the diaphragmatic breathing was not bad, but the acceptance based approach was better, especially when it came to avoidance behavior. And as you know, avoidance behavior is one of the biggest problems when treating anxiety because the more you try to escape anxiety the stronger it can become. So really interesting results and for you and for your everyday behavior this could mean that you more often could try to approach anxiety from an acceptance mindset which means that you realize there is the fear, I feel the fear 
and of course it doesn't feel good, but I can go through this situation without having to fight the fear and just let the fear run through your body and then the more time passes, it will go. I hope you enjoyed this episode and also found it a little bit helpful and maybe we will see in the next one.